Today I'm unboxing Laguna Blue Monster High School Ultimate Secrets. Let's go! Hello and welcome to Dolls Unbox, where I unbox dolls and do doll makeovers. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's have a look at Laguna. We have the beautiful artwork at the front. It says Laguna Blue with all her colors and the 19 surprises that we get inside. At the back we have all the other ghouls. Let's take the packaging off and see what we get. We have the skelet door with the spider web behind it in teal. Then we have a pink, a blue, a dark blue, and a very dark pink door. Let's see what Laguna herself looks like. There she is. She looks so summery. I like the pink and the teal combined. Let's take her out of the box, shall we? We have the key. Laguna's overall aesthetic is so pleasing. She looks so soft and sweet, and I don't think you get that with any of the other dolls. Draculaura has that somewhat, but not in this kind of style. She always looks so summery and straight out of the ocean, obviously, because it's Laguna. Her skin is spot on with a very soft pink, and yeah, I just like the overall aesthetic of this doll very, very much. The articulation, she has articulation around her head, her shoulder, her elbow, and her wrist, the waist, the hip, and the knee. Let's have a look at her hair. Her hair is pretty soft. All these dolls can do with a wash, but it is pretty soft. It is, there is a very soft purple there, a, like a pastel purple, pastel teal. Then we have that yellowy blonde and more Pastel teal and purple at the top there. She has the scales print on her forehead and she has little freckles on her face. Her eyebrows are teal and her lips are teal as well, which are very shiny. And her eyeshadow are the blue. It almost looks like the freckles continue onto her eyes and it's pink and teal and her eyes itself are a very dark brown with a hint of teal in there. Let's have a look at her, at her clothes. She has a very cute crop top. It has a floral pattern on the pink background, which goes all the way around the back. And the, I would say sleeves or the off shoulder sleeves are a teal ruffle. And it's tied in the back with a bow in the neck and also with Velcro for the top itself. She has shorts on, which are frayed at the bottom, and they have a faux button and white sewing at the top. And it is a black with a blue and teal scale pattern, which goes all the way around, and it ties with Velcro at the back. Her legs go into this pink to see-through blue, frosted blue gradient for her lower legs. And she has her fins, of course, on the sides there, which are a see-through shiny blue. And her shoes are a jelly-like thing. Actually, it is. it looks like jelly, but it is an octopus. This is the head of the octopus, and the tentacles go from a very dark pink to a light pink at the top. And they wrap all, array, all the way around her legs. It is a very cute. I love this doll already. Let's see what is in the other doors. I have the key here. I won't be washing all the keys. This key will unlock all of them. Here we go. Door number one. The baggies are always customized to whichever doll is in the box, which is very nice. I can appreciate that detail. We have the last key, apparently. What do we have? We have three sets of clothing here. We have a flowery skirt, which is the same as her other top, with two white lines going down the side. 
a black belt at the top which is made out of elastic and a teal bow and the skirt is hemmed with a hemming stitch in black at the bottom and it just slips on because this is elastic. We have a t-shirt and it says serve with a black wave, a black piranha or it looks like that. The letters serve are in blue and the wave wraps around and turns into a tentacle and it is a teal top with velcro at the back and mesh short sleeves in white. And she comes with a jacket. The jacket, not sure if I am agreeing with the crinkly sleeves there, but kind of looks like kelp or seaweed. So the jacket itself is made of a soft material. It looks a little bit like a varsity ja jacket. And the collar is made out of stretchy knitted material. The jacket itself is blue with a fish heart on the side there. And the sleeves are made out of this vinyl iridescent or iridescent material with ruffles at the top. And uh, yeah. I, I see what they were going for. Not sure if this is my favorite item out of the box. I love the jacket idea, by the way. Love that. Let's change her into this set of clothing. I haven't changed her into the completely other clothes yet because you gotta agree that this look is completely different from if I would put this together as a set like that. So I might just leave this until the end and I'll show you what she looks like in this set with these shoes and this set in the new shoes that we're getting because they're probably going to be low shoes that go with this. Absolutely love this set on her and I'm going to leave her like this until the very end. And then let's unbox the rest of this. And then at the end, I will show you her in the other set of clothing. Let's go to the next door. We get another key. We get her earrings, which are a flower and a dangly, and that is like a, looks like a hook and a star onto it. We get a baseball cap with a fish on it and some slime. It is kind of soft material. See, and this would again go with this set of clothing, in my opinion. And we get a necklace, which looks like a shark tooth and some slime as well. So I could pop that on her now, but I think it goes very well with this set too. So we'll leave that to the end. I will pop in her earrings though, which look very sweet with this outfit. I do like this. Let's move on to the next door. We get the key holder and we get another key and we get a new set of shoes. So these shoes, they have waves on the sides and it looks like kelp. And these are an iridescent kind of pearly shade of white. And we have black laces as well. Let's move on to the last lock. Lock door. And in this, we get some organic gummy fishies. Coconut milk or water and a delicious tuna wrap. Let's have a look at the final doll rating. The overall aesthetic of this doll is just amazing. I have not seen one of the Skultimate but Secrets dolls that has two completely different aesthetics in one box that all goes so well together from the shoes to the top and the skirt or the bottoms and the other set of clothing everything spot on five out of five skeletts hair and makeup i do like the soft colors in her hair and her makeup is spot on for laguna however because i don't necessarily like the yellow tone in her hair 
in all the Lagunas that is, I'll give that a four and a half out of five skeletons. The clothes, five out of five. The varsity jacket, the t-shirt and the shorts and the sports shoes and the cap, they go so well together and they are a completely different aesthetic to the floral top and skirt and the wraparound boots. Sure, you can mix and match if you would so prefer. However, these are two completely different aesthetics that suit her so well, both of them to a T. Well done, Mattel. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And this is it for this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.